What's good, the Warriors? Oh, it's your boy. Lionheart is back. I'm not wasting any time. It's mad late. It's like past one o'clock. I'm getting straight into this thing. You know what it is. Stop. So, shout outs to Warner Brothers and DC for inviting me to a special screening for Suicide Squad. I do get, yeah, and I still get invites to these things. It's just that I don't get to go because I'm busy with work and everything like that. And the times they send me for these screenings, I'm busy. I can't take time off work or what I'm doing to go to this potential London do this shit. But today was my day off. Sent me this shit, so I said, fuck it, why not? I went to it, godlike. Top three characters in that movie. Harlequin was a fucking goddess. That woman was... Excellent! Excellent! No flaws in her character. No flaws. Second best character, El Diablo. That character was fucking fantastic. And the third best character was very tough, man. Very tough. I'm going to say joint third is Amanda Waller. Because she was a fucking bitch. But she was fucking excellent. And Will Smith. Perfect, absolutely wonderful film. As I say, uh, you want to give you want me to give you a mark out of ten? I will. Nine out of ten, three, boom. Yes, that movie's a nine out of ten. Anyone that says that film is not good, they don't know what the fuck they're talking about. They don't understand movies, um, superhero movies. They don't understand the source material. You want to understand the pacing and the arrangement of Suicide Squad? Read the comic. Read the comic. We a couple understand the format of what a comic book is and how it is told, then watch Suicide Squad and then you have an epiphany. Oh, this film is fucking genius and then people like us <laughs> I'm wearing a Superman hat and a Batman jacket and a in the squad we trust Harlequin t shirt. Then they'll understand where we are and then we say to these guys Yeah, you're welcome. Movie is fucking nice, man. I don't know what the fuck people are talking about. They want if you look, if you want to watch a film like Beast of a Nation, Beast of No Nation, or um, Revenant, yeah, go watch those movies. Go watch the movies where you got Oscar-winning performance, where you got a whole movie to develop one or two characters. In this movie, you have over ten fucking characters, superhero characters, and a big fucking story. And fucking, you have to amaze us. What do you expect? What do you expect? Do you expect Oscar winning performance for everybody? You can't, man. You can't. Nothing I want to say. Joker is a straight up gangster in this film. Like, he is actually a gangster. He is a million miles away from, um, what was his name again? The last Joker. Um, I can't remember. The last Joker that um, was in um, with Christian Bale yeah a, a million miles away from that completely different Joker but he was legit he was legit you can't even compare the two because they are so fucking different actually the worst character in this whole movie was actually Batman he was shit I why was he in there rubbish rubbish get him out of there get him out of there but yeah I love the movie, man. And one thing I want to say about this movie was, before the movie started, the whole cast, they came out in real life. In my full review, I'm going to show the video right there. Right there. Of what happened when they came out and the director spoke um, and he addressed the criticism that the film has been getting. And it was kind of sad because he was saying we've been getting a, we've been taking a lot of um, shots right now, and if you have any negative thing to say about the movie, aim it at me. Don't aim it at these beautiful actors right here because they did a fantastic job. And I was like, don't do that, don't do that, don't make any type of admission like that. Let me be the judge of whether this film is good or not. Let the fans be the fan of. Let the fans be the judge of whether this film is good or not because you made this movie for us. You didn't make it for reviewers. You didn't make it for the critics. You made it for the millions. 
and potentially billions that are going to watch this movie. So don't watch what those stinking reviews are doing. The people will watch it, the people will judge, and then they'll put their voice out there. I'm putting my voice out there, and I'm saying that this film is fucking fantastic. I'm done. I'm done. Go watch the movie. The movie's excellent. Every single character... Well, to be honest with you, there was two characters. Um, I think it was like Captain Blue or something like that. Like, um, him. He was good. Don't get me wrong, but he was kind of... I didn't understand why he was there. And this character, Slipknot. No comment. Everything else, absolutely perfect. And the characters did have introductions. And they did have, along the movie, flash flashbacks. There was character development with certain characters. Especially Harlequin and the Joker. Who, might I add, can have their own movie. I would have talked so much about this. But I'm not going to because it's a spoiler free review. Thank you for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned for my next full review for Suicide Squad. That will be up in a couple hours after I've got some sleep. So I will see you warriors then. Laters. Oh yes. My queen. <laughs>